I want to inform the House that there are three affirmative action groups, women, youth, and persons with disabilities. But unfortunately, persons with disabilities have been considered as an appendix. No function, but existent nonetheless. And I want to assure this House, we also have ability beyond disability, and even our own treaty we organize us in Article 120C. So as we form the Youth Caucus, the Women Caucus, we also need to have the voice of persons with disabilities. And that is why we need the Persons with Disability Caucus. Already in every country, we have we have National Councils for Persons with Disabilities, and EAC should not be an exception. Honorable Speaker, all members were once youth, and they are potential candidates of the Disability Club. Even though we don't want you to join our club because it is full, we don't want competition in our club. We want to remain alone with the Honorable Bahati, Alex as person with disability, so that we can enjoy all the benefits alone. I will be the chairman, you will be the secretary general, and that will be the treasurer. The street will be everything. Honorable Speaker. Honorable Speaker, having said that, now with the motion of uh, Honorable Alodin, the African Queen, automatically I will support. Because out of the 350 million citizens of East African community, Close to 200 million are youth. You cannot ignore such a large population whenever we are moving forward with deepening, widening, and tightening our integration. And since this is the organ that uh, steer the wheels of integration in East Africa, we need to have that caucus from here so that they can go on to involve all the youth and to make sure that our economy is moving. Honorable Speaker, the wheels of our economy are driven by the youth. Most of us are retirees. And uh, you may not drive our economy the way the youth are driving. If we don't involve them in the integration agenda, then, Honorable Speaker, we may not go to anywhere. So, Honorable Speaker, I know the youth who are here. Honorable Ali Machano Ali, Honorable Aludin, Honorable Maina Karobias, uh, Honorable uh, even uh, Sadia, Honorable uh, even the uh, Minister from the uh, United Republic of Tanzania is also a youth. Honorable Speaker, and I was also to confirm that I am also a youth of yesterday. Uh, or a recycled youth, Honorable Speaker, because I seem like a youth. And all of us are recycled youth including Papa and uh, also Joseph Mundell. We are all recycled youth. So we support Honorable Speaker, and I think this motion is timely. And thank you very much, Honorable Speaker, uh, for giving us this motion. Yeah, yeah, let me clarify. Clarify. <laughs> Uh, thank you, uh, Mr. Speaker. And uh, thank you, uh, Lugu, uh, Ole Sankok, for allowing me to make this presentation. And when we are having meetings, <coughs> you ended up by discriminating some of us by saying that uh, about the issue of disability, you and the Honorable Bahati that uh, you have forgotten that we are men of us. <coughs> uh, myself, I suffer, I suffer from a disability of bald headedness. <laughs> I was not born with this bald head. <laughs> and this one has come as a hero. And now if I will use that, I can see the minister is one of us. <laughs> and I can see Papa Ngate is here. Uh, I, don't, I don't want to include the speaker. But <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Don't, don't leave us out. <laughs>
Thank you very much for that clarification, Honourable Speaker. I take the challenge and uh, I restrict those who will join my club of disability. So I'm very specific. So of all the people that will not join, I'm sure the speaker, even though of course uh, losing airs, you know, I don't know if he, he actually went to the barber shop or whatever. But anyway, for us who are in the disability club, we also want to be organized. And honorable speaker, thank you very much. Uh, we may promote you to be our uh, treasure. Thank you. <laughs> Oh. Well, that's not cool.